Hey guys, this is Brian. In this video, we are going to see how to add a shared passage uh, into Schoology AMP. So I am in a managed question bank, and I'm going to select the Add Question button. Scroll down a little bit, and you'll see Shared Passage. Shared patch Passage is really great because you can add uh, excerpts, um, multiple excerpts to a question, and then add questions on top of your excerpts. So I went ahead and pulled in some information about the US Constitution uh, from Macanvia and cited my source. And so I'm just going to copy and paste that into my excerpt, as you can see here. And also notice that this is a rich text editor, so I can make stuff bold if I want to highlight something. Um, I can add additional content. I can add an image in there of the Constitution, for example, which this excerpt is about the Constitution. Whenever you're done, just hit Save for your excerpt. And now I want to think of a couple questions that I want to ask that go along uh, with this passage here. So. I jotted down a couple question examples, pretty basic ones. This one is going to be multiple choice. And so to add the question, I just hit the add question button and I'm gonna do multiple choice. Wait for that to load. And here we are inside of the question setup. I'm gonna paste this in here. Um, I pasted my options in there too so I can just have them readily available um, for me to just copy down in here, 1492, 1787, 1812. Okay, now once I have those, I don't need those in my question itself. And then the correct answer setup is down below for the multiple choice, just like you were doing a regular multiple choice question in assessments. And I'm going to choose to shuffle op options just because I like to do that. And always, I haven't had time to go look at the specific learning objective, but please, please, please always align learning objectives whenever possible. And so I'm going to save this question. And now here's the cool part about shared passages. I'm going to add a, another question on top of that. So let me add a true false question. Another pretty basic question type, but you can add any question type into shared passage. Uh, I just chose some pretty simple ones here for the video. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste my question. And this one is obviously false here. The Declaration of Independence proclaimed that the 13 colonies were separated from Great Britain, not from France. And I can require a correction. Um, and as always, like I said before, please add learning objectives. Okay, so I have an excerpt and I have two questions added. So let's see what a shared passage looks like in a managed assessment. I created a managed assessment, which you'll learn to do later. And I'm going to, I already added the question and now I'm going to preview it. And here's what I really like about the shared passage is that it will put your excerpts on the left and then your questions on the right hand side. Uh, there was a way for you to do this inside of regular assessments or tests and quizzes um, previously, but you would have to scroll up and down and it was a little messy. This is much neater for your learners. Also note that these links that are in here are live so you may want to go back into your question and unlink some things if you do not want your learners to be able to access uh, that information for your managed assessments all right so that was shared passage and i hope you enjoy it 